Well, this is a busy time of year and it kicks off a busy season for festivals. I am joined by Reverend George Mays from Westside Baptist Church about their upcoming festival in South Chattanooga. Welcome and thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about this festival. It's being called a first of its kind festival. And tell me why is that? What's unique and special about this festival? Uh, since being here, I've been here six months and I've learned that a lot of, not a lot of things happen in the South Chattanooga area, uh, especially at the Southside Community Park. So we wanted to uh, host this event um, for that very reason, just to bring some things to the South Chattanooga area. And talk about that. So you want to say, you know what, I want to bring some things to the Ch South Chattanooga area. I want this area where people can take pride in their community and things and say, you know what, this is happening in our community, a special event that will also bring other people into the community. Absolutely. So let's talk about this festival and what all it entails. You know, if you come out there, what people can expect at this festival when they attend? Absolutely. Uh, the For the Culture Festival is uh, geared toward the focusing on the culture of families in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, we want to, as the church, we want to bring families together. We want to bring healing to families. And as a predominantly African-American church, we specifically want to see healing brought to African-American families, but as well as families uh, at large in general. Um, we, there's healing that's needed right now, and we believe that this event can be a start uh, to that. And, and there are a lot of unique situations and issues that um, African-American families and especially those in uh, some of our communities face. But let's start by talking about this because you're the pastor at Westside Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. You're partnering with the Net Resource Foundation. Yes. And talk about that collaboration and why that is important in the community to put this event to, on and also to help those in the community uh, and just on a broader sense. Absolutely. Um, the Net Resource Foundation, on being a parachurch organization, uh, it came together because it's designed to help the local community. Um, we, we're focused on letting the community know that we don't just care as a church, as an organization, about just the spiritual needs, uh, but also their practical needs, their social and economic needs. Um, we host feeding programs throughout the year. Um, we are helping develop our young lead, the futures of our young leaders through our after-school program. Um, so I. I believe our connection, uh, we, we benefit Chattanoogans because we want to see uh, the, we want to see Chattanooga, the, the spiritual, emotional, and physical needs of Chattanoogans met. I think one of the things too that I, and I'm taking from this as you're saying is I'm hearing more and more ministers say this and I think getting the bigger picture of this is that yes, you have to concentrate on the spiritual needs. That's why we attend church. But you also have to be able to truly branch out and concentrate on those other needs as well. Like you said, emotional needs, you know, um, physical needs and, and so many other, and that's what the church is starting to do more of, like yes. what you're saying right here, to get outside of those four walls and also focus on the other needs. Yes. So it's the, the entire well-being of the, of the person. Yes, yes, yes. We, uh, coming from, you, you saw Jesus do it, uh, even when he called his first disciples, that when he called them, uh, before he actually called them, he said, go out on your boat um, and catch those fish. That's what they did for a living, that before we can deal with the spiritual, we want you to know that we're there with the practical. We can't say, hey, this is what you need to do in this, in this arena and go down this way until you know that we actually care about you as a person as well. And that's what this uh, event is a start of. It's not going to fix families, but we want to bring families together. And we believe that uh, this can begin the process of doing that. Just that. Right. I mean, you, you can't say, hey, can you listen to me if you're t sitting before someone is they're sitting there and they're hungry or they don't have a roof over their head. Absolutely. You know, it, it's not going to really resonate Absolutely. with them. So you have to, like you said, take care of those practical needs mm -hmm. as well. So this is something you're inviting. You want everyone to come out and take part in this yes. event. Yes, we do. Um, anybody that would like to attend this event, we it is open to everyone uh, just to come out and enjoy a day full of uh, fun, food, fellowship, music, um, and bring your families. Like we said, we want to bring the families together. So it's open to anybody who would like to attend. Talk a little bit about your job as a minister there at um, Westside Baptist Church and some of the unique challenges um, that you are seeing from your members and those in the community? Absolutely. Um, we're living in a very unprecedented 
day. Um, there's a lot of things happening from we're just coming out of, or still dealing with, but coming out of the height of a national pandemic. Um, so we're dealing with a people, dealing with people who are, who are struggling economically speaking. Um, we're dealing with people who are struggling mentally. Um, we're dealing with people who are uh, struggling just within their families, their personal lives. So I believe trying to find a way to minister to the unique needs of this generation. Uh, we, we're living in a time where we've never seen these things before. As we said, mental, um, mental health is, is uh, well, excuse me, mental, um, yeah, mental health is, is, is something that is not focused on but needs to be focused on, especially within the African-American community. Um, the the uh, financial aspect of African-Americans, the African-American community and communities at large that we, it's a struggle trying to figure out how to uh, deal with these problems uh, in, this, in this society today. And you talk about mental health, and I, I know that one of the things too, and I have a mental health counselor who comes on the show some, and one of the things we talk about is that Finally, more and more ministers are saying, you know, you used to say, okay, well, we're going to pray about it and we should pray about everything. But at the same time, you also need to get professional help. Absolutely. And that's what more ministers are starting to say and have programs in their churches when it comes to that. And like you said, and, and making sure that we, we talk about the struggles of our young people, especially our African-American young men mm -hmm. who are often stereotypes, but we're saying, let's give them hope, let's give them a job, let's give these families a way to take care of themselves so that they can live with pride and dignity. Yeah, 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 we have to do that. Um, like I said, I, do, I agree that we do, there is a sense that we try to stay away from professional help, but I believe that sometimes we have to have that, that help as well. Um, the church can uh, be a foundation. The church can give you as, as what you need as well for, uh, for your mental well-being, but uh, sometimes you need that, that extra push. Okay, yeah. well, thank you so much for being here today, and we're going to share all that information for letting people know about the upcoming festival and when it is and how they can attend. So again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.